everyone, I'm Yvonne. My UPS team and I have helped thousands of business owners start shipping with UPS. I'm here to show you how easy it is to create a shipment on UPS.com. Whether you're new to shipping or trying the simplified format for the first time, I'm here to guide you step by step, no stress involved. We've updated the shipment creation process on UPS.com to be super user friendly, whether you're shipping domestically or internationally. It's perfect if you just need to prepare basic shipments. If you have more complex needs, stick with using the previous shipping experience. To get started on the right foot, make sure you're logged into your UPS shipping account. This will let you access save addresses, payment methods, and any discounts you have quicker. Let's dive in. First up, you'll input the shipper's details to generate a return address. I suggest opting in for email updates by checking the box. This will help you stay informed about your shipment's journey. The UPS app can also help you keep tabs on your shipments. Next, you'll add the recipient's name and address to make sure the package arrives at the correct place. Including a phone number or email for the recipient is optional, but I really recommend including them to help with any delivery updates. Make sure you check the box here so they can receive notifications like a delivery photo that shows when and where their package was left. Enabling these shipping notifications for your customers is a nice touch. They'll appreciate the proactive updates. Now, let's talk about your packaging. If you're using UPS packaging, the dimensions auto-populate when you select a packaging type, just add the weight. For non-UPS packaging, you'll need to measure and weigh the package yourself. Try to be as accurate as you can. I know it can be frustrating to get charged later if the provided dimensions are a bit off, so take a moment to double check those numbers. Before we move on to the service selection, I wanna highlight my favorite feature. On the right, you'll see an ever-present summary section. You'll use this to keep track of your progress and quickly make changes to your shipment at any time without losing your place. Just click the pencil icon if you need to make edits. After providing the shipping details, you can decide whether to drop off the package or have a UPS driver pick it up. Just specify the pickup, day, time, and location, or find a drop-off spot near you using our locator. Then, choose how quickly you need the package to arrive. We'll recommend options, but feel free to explore all available services. To round things out, you can provide some additional details. Again, a lot of these are optional, but very helpful to include if you can. Accurately describing the package contents is crucial in case of issues during shipping. If it's worth over $100, I also suggest considering adding extra protection. You can opt to get a quote for purchasing package protection or additional services, like requiring a signature upon delivery by simply typing in the value or clicking the indicated checkbox. Finally, choose your payment method. If you're not billing directly to your account, Make sure to check the indicated box so any discounts associated with your account get applied. For efficiency, you can save your payment method for future use. Once everything looks good in the summary, go ahead and pay. You'll get a shipment confirmation and will now be able to print your shipping label to attach it to your box so it's ready for pickup or drop off. And that's it. You're all set to create your first shipment and schedule a pickup with UPS. If you're ready to start now, check out the links in the video description to try it yourself. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.